Hey, how's it going? I'm Asolk, or otherwise known as KevKev. And in this commentary, I want to talk to you all about what I think some of the effects are going to be, or what I think is going to happen with Call of Duty switching over to the PlayStation 4 as its preferred console. So, let's jump right into it. Alright, gameplay, real quick. AK-12 for the first bit, then I pick up a couple guns, SMGing for a little bit, but then I kind of fail at it because I suck at Advanced Warfare. I'm a little bit aggressive at the start, but then I kind of turn not so aggressive because I want to try and build up a streak, but that doesn't happen, I get sniped, and you guys will probably see it happening. I see the guy coming in, he comes, pops back out, and then just takes my head off pretty much, but... Regardless, I have a lot to get through, so I'm going to try and make this as easy as possible and as non-boring, if that's a word, as unboring as possible for you guys to listen to. Alright, so for starters, we all know that PlayStation 4 is going to be the preferred console for Black Ops 3, for Call of Duty from this point onwards. We don't know if this is going to be from, you know, for all the next, you know, couple Call of Duties, or if it's going to be for the next couple of years, or if it's just going to be for this year. We don't know for sure, but... We can tell from the very start, alright, that this is going to be the preferred console. T-Martin was talking about it before when he was saying that when if you try and buy a game of Black Ops 3 online, then automatically it's going to select the PlayStation 4 version. And, of course, in the massive giveaway was that in the trailer, it came up with the PlayStation symbol before, and they showed that off at the Sony's uh, E3 press conference and stuff. So, we know that Black Ops 3 is going to be coming on the PlayStation 4 as a preferred console, which means they get DLC earlier, the lucky bastards. I'm not going to complain about this because they have been waiting in the dark for a long time. The poor PlayStation guys, I've, I've got a couple friends that play PlayStation and right now they're on top of the world. They're, they're thinking, ha, suck it. As an Xbox person, I'm not happy about them getting DLC earlier and me not, but I am understanding in that and I realize that I can't get DLC early every single time, so I'm okay with that. So, for those of you that don't know, when the preferred console is chosen, that company kind of supports the MLG Pro Circuit for Call of Duty, which is why a lot of the professional gamers, instead of using Xbox Ones when they play competitive COD now, when they go to the actual events, they're most likely, well I say most likely, but it's almost indefinitely going to be PlayStation 4s. Because Sony are the people that are in charge, they're the head honchos, so what do they want to use as the MLG Pro Circuit consoles? They want PS4s. So the MLG Pro gamers and the Pro Call of Duty players that are also mainly YouTubers are probably also going to switch over to PS4 because there's no point in them playing Xbox the entire time and then when they go to a pro event where they have to perform and be at their absolute best what are they going to use? They're going to use the PlayStation 4 so that way they can get in practice that way they can get used to it if there's no point in Usain Bolt running a 100 meter uphill course when in fact the actual race is going to be 100 meters on flat ground it makes no sense doesn't it? So the effect of pro players switching over could also affect the pro circuit and a lot of bigger people that are followed on YouTube like Nate, Shot, and Scumpy, they're going to be switching over most likely. I, I don't want to keep saying most likely and probably, but those are the words that I have to use because this isn't set in stone yet. It still could happen. There's a very, very, very small insignificant chance that it'll still be on Xboxes and stuff, but let's be realistic here. That That's like, the probability of that happening is like one in... 10 billion right now. So, I can't say for sure, but it's it's most likely almost indefinitely going to be that way. So, anyway, bigger YouTubers and also clans will probably try and switch over as well if they can because they'll want to get the DLC early, they'll want to talk about it, they'll want to show gameplay of it, they'll want to try and get montages and clips up of that sort of stuff. So, of course, they're going to most likely also switch over. It's hard to tell just how much of the community is going to switch over, but it's probably going to be a very large amount of it and almost indefinitely the big people are going to be switching over, the people who can viably switch over. I mean, for the average gamer that plays on consoles, not exactly as if you have a spare $500 just sitting around and gathering dust, because why not, that you can spend on a next-gen console. If you have already bought an Xbox One, then that'll probably be in a, in a really bad scenario if you follow Call of Duty religiously. I don't, it's my main game, I'll admit that, but I do play a lot of other games, so I'm okay 
I'm I'm not too affected by this because I don't mind playing DLC a little bit later. I'm okay with that. But I mean that's just because I play a lot of other different games as well. What I upload and what I've built my channel around is mainly Call of Duty, so that'll affect even me as a YouTuber, as a very small YouTuber. So yeah, the effects on the community are very hard to judge indefinitely at this stage because there's probably going to be uh, a lot of people who will be able to switch over and probably a lot who won't be able to switch over. So that's just about it and that's what I think is going to happen and how it's hard to judge what's going to happen to the community but it's obviously going to affect all of those different aspects that I talked about. Now, I don't want to make this video last any longer than it needs to, because, of course, this isn't exactly the most exciting topic, it's just what I think is going to happen in the community. So, I hope you've all enjoyed the video, make sure that you leave a like, comment, favourite, and or subscription, and I guess I'll catch you all next time. I've been Ace Hawk, or otherwise known as Gif Gif, and I'm out.